This is the front end install for the 2010 to, as of now, 317 Dodge 253500. We've taken the chrome bumper off here. These are the four bolts right here that you need to undo from your frame cap on your truck. And you got four over here on the same, like the same there, okay? While, you're, while we're here, I'm going to show you the, the fog lights you're going to mount into your truck. If you have fog lights, there's two bolts right here and then one right there. You just got to take those out of there and then the fog light comes out. I will show you in a minute here how to put that in your chrome bumper. Um, first, we're going to show you how to put your mounting brackets on. Again, we've, we've already kind of taken this loose here a little bit, but this is how it's going to look once you got your chrome bumper off. There's four factory bolts right here that you got to take out for your tow hook. And once you take out your tow hook, you got to take it off to put your other mounting bracket on. Take it off there. And they will go back on. In the kit, these are 17 millimeter sockets that you need to work with these bolts on. You will have these in your kit and you're going to replace your factory bolts with that. And on your bracket, you want your gusset to be the top. And this little lip ear right here is going to go to the outside. You're going to replace your tow hook on your little tow hook bolt hole pattern right there. And you're going to put it on there. And again, let's say you got your new bolts in your kit, but you're going to bolt that on there like that. Right here on the other side, we've actually already put it on there. You can see your four bolts right there that we're talking about. These two right here is where your guard or your front end is going to go to. Once we've got the front end ready. You do have one bottom bracket that you need to worry about. Okay, this one right here. You see it's got the little slot right there. This is going to go on the back side of here on your frame cap. And this slot is going to go on this bolt. you got two little bolts right here. You're going to take the nut off the bottom one, which is an 18 millimeter. You're going to take that nut off, and you're going to put this bracket on just like that. Okay, it allows you, that little groove allows you to put it on there without having to take the whole harness out there okay and then you're going to put that on and you're going to use a half by one and three quarters bolt that's in the kit to bolt that right there okay and you're going to put flat lock nut on that thing but just put it on there loosely because you might have to move that around a little bit when we get the front end up there depending on how it hits right there okay and then once you get once you got the front end up there then you can put that other bolt in and then probably the last thing I do is tighten this bracket then you can tighten it all together at the same time in case you need to move it around. Okay, but your front end, let me show you what bolts, what part of the front end bolts are there and what part bolts are there and we'll also show you the fog light. This little guy right here is what's going to bolt to the bottom bracket that we just showed you how to put on to the side of, on the back of the frame cap, okay. And there's actually a little shoe right over here too that's going to bolt to that bracket that we both that we took the tow hook off and then put it all back together that's what's going to go to that bracket okay your fog lights you can see here there's going to be a bolt on each side you know, little brackets that are welded into the front end when then you're, you leave your factory little bracket here to your fog light and you just bolt it all on your front end at the same time okay if you if you've got sensors that's got holes in here if you've got sensors on your vehicle you're going to take the factory sensor housing out of the chrome bumper and you're going to put it from the front side in and then you're going to put your sensors back in there. Um, you, you do use your factory sensor housings out of your chrome bumper. If you do not have sensors, we've got this little black plug that you're going to use. What you would do is you would just take that black plug from the front side. I use a little rubber mallet maybe even a little wooden block that you can just tap it in that way you won't scratch your plug and all that okay so that's what you're going to put in there to block to cover the holes if you do not have sensors so um, now we're going to get somebody and we're going to hang this thing and we'll show you how to tighten it up and mount it and line it and all that good stuff We've got the front end up to there we did tighten it in order to get this thing aligned what i always do is take a tape measure and you're going to measure from the side to the edge of the front end and you're also going to measure from the front end up and make sure you got the same gap the same bit side to side that's how i get it aligned on this one you really ain't got else anything else to go off with really. just make sure it's all the same reveal um once i i snug one side and then i'll put a jack on the other side or you can put a jack in the middle but it really helps um, to if you put a jack underneath there to be able to do that once you've got that aligned tighten both of them front bolts in there 
on each side and then that side bracket up underneath you want to make sure that all three of those bolts are really really tight up underneath I'm, yeah all three bolts underneath there are tight okay this truck again does not have sensors like we said so you can see how we put all the plugs in there if you again if you did have sensors you can put your factory housings in there put your sensors in have to put your sensor bar up, up in there or your wire harness in there um, make sure all that's tied up this front end right here has actually got a light bar that is an option okay so if you already got yours you've got what you got if not you're seeing this you can buy that as an option if you want to um, but that bolts onto there it's got tabs on it for it and just make sure again like all bolts are tight go through it one more time and that's the install for the frontier truck here 2010 to as of now 17 dodge 25 3500 front end.